Maybe you've heard the word bathymetry before when talking about the shape of the seabed. Bathymetry literally is the mapping of underwater elevations under the ocean, a lake, or a wave pool. Waves interact with the underlying bathymetry as they move from deep water onto shallower water. Just like in Azare, where waves come through a deep and steep underwater canyon, and when they suddenly break, they're still carrying that deep water wave energy. On top of that, the wave bends into itself, creating a convergence point where it adds up and creates an even bigger wave. Bathymetry is often used to look at broader scale processes. We can look at the mapping of the continental shelf, for example, to estimate how much wave energy is lost due to friction before waves actually arrive on the coastline. For comparison, the continental shelf in New South Wales is so narrow that only 3.5% of wave energy is lost, but in Florida, up to 58% of wave energy is lost to friction. To look at smaller scale processes, like waves breaking over 